Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 22nd of 2019. Well, it is titled night sky reflections from the world's largest mirror. So what do we see here? Well, what can the world's largest mirror be? And not an astronomical telescope mirror or anything much, much larger than that. And in fact, something that stretches over a 100 kilometers in size. And this is a great salt flat. Now salt flat wouldn't normally be reflective. But of course, after the rain, just as anything else smoothing out the surface, uh, this becomes an extremely reflective surface. And you can see here the night sky image up above reflected down below on the salt flat. Now up in the sky, we do see a number of different things, including our own Milky Way galaxy. And the image is annotated for you in this case. So if you bring the mouse over it, it will actually highlight. And I think you could see the Milky Way galaxy there as it was. But that is labeled there arcing across the image from left to right. And we can see various parts of the Milky Way. The central portion of our Milky Way is towards the left over there. Antares is in the constellation of Scorpius the Scorpion and very close to that is the constellation of Sagittarius which happens to contain the central portion of our galaxy and you may be able to note looking there that the density of the star cloud seems to be a little bit higher if, if there were no dust that dark dusty lanes that we see blocking out the light the center of our galaxy would be one of the brightest objects in the sky so it would be very, very bright, but all of the dust, all of the dust particles in between block that out and keep us from being able to see the center of our galaxy directly. Now Antares is a relatively bright star, a very large star that would fill a large portion of our solar system where, where it put where the sun is. And the bright object below that is much closer. That is the planet Jupiter. So within our own solar system, not just within our galaxy, but within our own solar system as well. Now the other object bright object is on the other side all off towards the right is the bright star Sirius. After the sun the Sirius is the brightest star in the sky. And it is visible over there and is one of the prominent winter stars that we see uh, as it's very close to the constellation of Orion also known as a winter constellation. Now the other object that we see there's not just one galaxy in this image but another one and that is the large Magellanic cloud seen here labeled as LMC and the large Magellanic cloud is a satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way so not part of our Milky Way itself but part of the a satellite system of a number of galaxies that orbit around our Milky Way. So these galaxies orbit around the Milky Way much in the way the planets orbit around the sun. And we have a number of them here the large Magellanic cloud being one of the more prominent and bright ones that we can see but only visible from south of the equator. So you have to travel far enough south for it to be able to be visible. And since this image was taken down in Bolivia, that means yes, you're able to see things like the large Magellanic cloud as we see here. In addition to the other objects we looked at up above in the sky and reflected below in a very large mirror of the salt flat in Bolivia. So that was our picture of the day for October the 22nd of 2019. It was titled Night Sky Reflections from the World's Largest Mirror. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be famous swirls. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.